Hi, my dear Way Biotonians. We at Vedantu always have your best interest in front of us, keeping your best interest in front of us and making sure that the next 21 days of the lockdown are going to give you something in return of staying at home and work better than having everlasting knowledge. So we at Way Biotonic globally brainstorm and we thought, why don't we have a 21 day learning challenge in science? Now this science challenge which is going to start today is not only really related to me but anything and everything in science. So right at the beginning we would really like to request you that why don't you have your family and friends? Why don't you have your seniors and juniors? Why don't you have your elder brothers and sisters or even this cute little younger ones? Why don't you gather everybody around and let's rally across of this amazing session which I'm going to be taking, I will throw open the challenge to you my dear students. So you in return, as you're always so kind, considerate, compassionate and helpful, you always share your, your amazing picks and everything else with me. Why don't at the end of this challenge, you share your messages back with me and then we will snowball into a big movement. Today's class is on all those agents which can cause infection in human beings right from worms to bacteria to viruses. So there are some agents which are referred to as the infectious agents. They can be something as harmless as a lactobacilli which forms curd outside the human body or helps in digestion of certain substances inside the human body. Or it could be something like a symbiont called E. coli which does live inside the human body. So these bacteria, sometimes the infectious ones enter our body and cause common problems like sore throat or maybe an ear infection or a skin infection. They are not that difficult to treat because bahut pehle humne antibiotics room nikali thi and as human race has flourished and progressed, we have really found the best of antibiotics. So these bacteria are both harmful as well as the harmless ones which live in our bodies. They do cause infections but these infections are not as deadly as the one which is doing rounds now. Viruses which you will be surprised to know, especially the tiny tots in today's class, are absolutely non-living outside the human body or any other body of a plant or an animal. Only when they enter our bodies, you know, can they become from non-living to living and cause infections. Isn't that like, you know, quite a revelation? But they are so smart that once they enter inside our body, they hold our body captive or hostage and make sure that our entire body is crippled and our body has to listen to them. That's how deadly they are. So it's very important that they stay far. So today's challenge is you guys need to tell me all the super cool things that you're doing to keep all the germs, bacteria and viruses real far from you. So if you have something super innovative and super cool, especially the tiny thoughts ones, why don't you share that with me on the telegram and we will give you a shootout back. Now, if this 21 day learning challenge which starts from today, we will every single day give you new and cool things to stay connected with science with us. So again, a big shootout, get all your family and friends together on our channel and let's launch the 21 day challenge. See you, waiting to hear from you on the Telegram group link posted in the description box. Bye kids!